Hello YouTube, Diabetic Daddy 76 here with a vlog update. It's been a while since I've done one of these as I've focused mostly on doing recipes lately. But I got to thinking today, today of all days. Why is it that every two-year-old out there believes that every pain they suffer can be solved with one thing? A band-aid. Well, they most likely believe that because we as parents have taught them that if you have a boo-boo, a band-aid makes it better. For a two-year-old, that's great. That works. Number one, acknowledges that they have a problem. Number two, shows that we know how to solve it. And number three, gives them a solution, hopefully in the wrappings of a very cool Barbie or G.I. Joe slash Cars Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Band-Aid. If only life were really that simple. Say, this two-year-old is now 62 years old and has a heart attack. Do you think that that Band-Aid will heal his heart attack? Common sense says no, correct? Then why is it that groups like the ADA, the USDA, and the FDA push one single diet as if it is the magic band-aid to cure all ailments? And it's not even a Spider-Man band-aid. Because they will have us believe that this particular diet works for the vast majority. This low-fat, high-carbohydrate diet, when in fact it doesn't. If it did work for the vast majority of folks out there, why would there be diets like the Primal Blueprint Paleo Diet, Atkins Diet, South Beach Diet? Why would there be so many variants of a low carbohydrate diet that is effective? So here we are as grown adults and we receive a message and that is if you are diabetic, if you are hypoglycemic or hyperglycemic, if you are obese, if you are XYZ, it doesn't matter what it is, this one diet cures everything. Well, I got news for you. Your Band-Aid approach, folks, is a failure. But hey, what do I know? I'm a kook. I've done research. I've educated myself. And I'm continuing to do this research. Continuing to educate myself. The ADA, USDA, and the FDA have all the experts. And their experts have told you, they've told me, that I am wrong. That a low-fat, high-carbohydrate diet is what everybody needs. It is your Band-Aid. As a band-aid may solve most owie issues that a two-year-old may suffer, diet is not the same thing at all. By far. You know this. I know this. And yet there are YouTube users out there who insist on emailing me and writing me and telling me, hey, you're a big guy, you need to be on a low-calorie, moderate-carbohydrate diet. They don't care anything about the big picture, they just know whatever these groups are telling them. And you know what? The truth is, is that that diet actually does work for people. I have to give credit where credit's due. But it doesn't work for everybody. And that's the thing that people fail to recognize. Not too long ago, YouTuber True to the Spirit wrote me a few comments. He told me the title of a book and said, read it. He didn't suggest I look into it but he told me to read it, and to which I responded in kind, and I said, well, thank you for ordering me to do something. I've actually looked into it. However, that diet plan is not working for me. To which he replied, no offense, my friend, but I recommend that you read, insert name of book here, because he promotes a low-fat, high-carbohydrate diet. You look as though you're carrying a few extra pounds, so a low-fat diet would do you best. Well, I'm so glad that True to the Spirit is a bona fide dietitian slash nutritionist slash puppet for the ADA, USDA, and FDA. I got news for you folks. That Band-Aid does not work on a heart attack. And the reason I'm even bringing this up today is because today in the mail I received a packet from a program that I had participated in shortly after I was diagnosed with diabetes. To be fair to the program, I'm not going to put their name in here. But let's just say it is run by federal funds, it is a group of dietitians, and what they do is they sit down and they go over a diet plan, which is low calorie, low fat, high carbohydrate. They'll argue moderate carbohydrate, but in a diabetic world, it's high carbohydrate. They're talking 50 grams of carbohydrates per meal. At the beginning of this program, I weighed 292 pounds. My BG level was at 6.5%. My LDLs were 54. My HDL was 30. Overall, I wasn't that great. I was 292 pounds, I was 51 inch waist, and I needed help. 16 weeks into the program, I had lost weight. 
That was good. I had lost inches, also good. However, following their diet plan, strictly I might add, my blood glucose went up, not skyrocketing, but it did go up. It went from 6.5 to 6.9. My LDL, which I said was 54, was up at 118. Now my waist had dropped from 51 inches to 39 inches. So, I had lost weight. There's no arguing that this diet will help you lose weight. But if you think that a high carbohydrate diet is going to help a diabetic, you're fooling yourself or you're trying to deceive somebody and basically you were giving someone a band-aid to cure a heart attack. At the end of this program, I was closer to dying of a heart attack than actually dying of diabetes. How do you think that makes people feel? For me, I felt devastated. I was lost. I had nowhere to go. The place I had turned to for information had led me down a path that made my health worse. I had lost weight, but that was it. My blood pressure was up, my blood glucose levels were up, my LDLs and my HDLs were up, my overall cholesterol was through the roof, and my triglycerides skyrocketed. What does that tell me? It tells me that a high carbohydrate diet is not the answer. It is a band-aid solution to a heart attack. In the mail though, I received a packet. They were asking for my feedback on their program. And the staff was wonderful. So I'm making sure to note how wonderful the staff was. And there were many good things in this program for trying to lose weight. Not for reversing. Nay, not even for managing your diabetes. So they're asking me what I think they can improve upon. Well, I'm telling you right now, you folks here in YouTube land, I'm promoting a lean meat diet where over 50% of your calorie intake is through, surprise, lean meats. Otherwise, you're eating vegetables, fruit, and nuts. You're limiting your oils. Gee, does this sound familiar? Hmm. Now, if only I could show them proof. Say, oh, I don't know, my statistics when I went to the doctor and had an 8.9 BG level at 301 pounds compared to now, below 6%. Thank you very much. That's right. I, I'm still a big guy. I get it. I'm 240 pounds. Yeah, gee. I'm sorry I'm not losing weight faster than a few pounds every week. When it comes down to it, the only healthy way to lose weight is to do it correctly. And when you do it correctly, you're not losing 10 pounds a week. You're losing a pound, two pounds a week. Well, I'm right on par with that. Some people out there are going to call me fat. Hey, that's fine. Call me fat. Boo-hoo. Uh -huh. I'm working on it, pal. So what it comes down to is this. If you or a friend are being force-fed the dogma and propaganda of the U.S. federal government saying you have to live this way if you're going to manage your diabetes, well, you're fooling yourself if you believe it, period. They have one interest in mind, and that is what? Making money. FDA, Food and Drug Administration. Guess what? You do their plan, you still have to take medication. Do I take my medication? You bet I do. But I'm on the verge here. I'm going to be off that medication. My labs show that the medication needs to be reduced. So what happens? The doctor reduces it. And as I continue to live this lifestyle, they will continue to reduce it, provided that my blood sugar levels stay at the appropriate percentage. What do they stand to gain from me learning how to take care of my life, learning how to reverse diabetes naturally through, what's the natural medicine? Food. That's right. Those who eat good food do not need medicine as much as those who eat crap. If I'm not living proof, then I don't know what you need for proof. Can the USDA bullcrap forget the ADA's propaganda of what you need to eat and start focusing on the facts? The facts are, lean meats help you burn fat while creating muscle. Raw vegetables, you're getting your macronutrients, your micronutrients, your vitamins. On the lean meats, you're getting your magnesium, you're getting your omega-3s, you're getting all these things your body needs, and you're getting beyond your regular daily amount. Well, is that a good thing? Gee, let's ask the USDA, the FDA, and the ADA. Because according to their diets, you'll be deficient in magnesium, like that. Chromium, like that. Omega-3 fatty acids, pff, what's that? Who needs it, right? But hey, you'll have a high quantity of omega-6. So all you cats out there who are thinking, yay, ADA knows what they're talking about. You know what? Just because their title says Diabetic Association does not mean they give a rat's butt about diabetics. What they care about is the bottom line, and that's money, folks. It's all about money. If they promote a diet that puts diabetics in need of medication to regulate their blood sugar, guess what? 
they have now created job security. That's right. You eat what they tell you to eat. Boom. Your doctor says, hey, you're losing weight, but gee whiz, your blood sugar has gone back through the roof. We need to put you on a higher dosage. Now you are eating their diet. Oh, and you're paying for a higher dose of medication, which of course costs more money. Go figure, right? The point is, their system requires you to eat their diet. Then go and buy their supplements. And then go and buy their medication. What interest could they possibly have in reversing or curing diabetes? I'll tell you what. Zero. What this is, is taking the wool off your eyes, folks. Get out there, do some research, educate yourself. Be proactive in your own life, in your own diet, in your own decisions, and do not let some fat cat who wants to sell his pharmaceuticals to you tell you how you need to live, because I guarantee you, you're going to find yourself broke, fat, and full of drugs. Do I sound like I'm cynical? Do I sound fed up? Well, good. This is the crazy diabetic daddy 76 saying, have a good night, y'all stay healthy, and please, do yourself a favor. Stop letting them treat you like you are two years old. We need more than a Band-Aid.